The year is 1967 in the state of California, and the governor of the state of California at that time is future President Ronald Reagan. He passes legislation which uh, creates the California Air Resources Board, known as CARB, and that CARB entity has a monumental impact on the automobile industry because it creates smog requirements that uh, auto manufacturers must live with that get just tighter and tighter and tighter every single year. And so in 1967, that's the absolute high point of the muscle car era. To pass this kind of legislation was a huge deal, but it seemed controversial at the time. By 1971, it had taken over the entire United States and the muscle car dynasty completely died. Well, part of that, that California smog uh, emissions requirement is that, again, it gets tighter and tighter every single year. And so it's forced manufacturers to get cleaner and cleaner and cleaner technology and make cleaner and cleaner and uh, more economical cars. And so the Toyota Prius is at the absolute head of the class. In fact, Prius means to be before, to come before everyone else. And so that's how Toyota sees the Prius as this something that everybody wishes they could do, but we did it first. In fact, they did do it first. They came out with the Prius in 1997 in Japan, sold in the United States in 2000. Next generation that has this kind of look that we're more familiar with, not quite a hatchback, not quite a wagon. It's called a camback, this design philosophy, but we more typically associate it with a hatchback since this car also is available in a wagon known as a Prius V. But this look comes out in 2004, and then this body style, the one we're focusing on, comes out in 2009. Now, the Prius is a car of many virtues, but it's certainly not a perfect car, and more importantly, it might not be a perfect car for you. So the most important thing that we want to see is even if a Prius, any Prius, is the right car for you, and if it is the right car for you, let's make sure you get the right one. Let's pop the hood on this one and see what's going on underneath there. Now, all Priuses have 134 horsepower. That's just how it is. They have a 1.8 liter engine that has two hybrid batteries, and then together they make 134 horsepower, which is nice because it goes zero to 60 in about 10 seconds, 10.1 seconds, which is relatively quick for what it is, and it drives super duper nice. In fact, the build quality is so strong on this car, going zero to 60 in 10 seconds feels really nice, surprisingly. Now this one is the uh, plug-in hybrid, and so a plug-in doesn't mean it's like just purely relying on electricity, it just has a 4.4 kilowatt lithium ion battery that allows the car to go gas free for about 12 miles at about 60 miles an hour. And so if you're making quick trips, you will never use gas actually, just when you bring it home, plug it back in three hours later, you got a full charge and you're ready to roll. The nice thing is though it seamlessly goes between the plug-in and the standard hybrid and so if you run out of the plug-in juice or if you just didn't plug it in you're just getting 50 miles per gallon and so 50 miles per gallon is fantastic and that's combined driving city and highway all priuses get 50 miles per gallon combined the prius c the small version of this car actually does even better than that and so the one thing that you want to look out for is you want to make sure that you get a car with a good battery and so you don't want to get a car that's been wrecked that has a replacement battery that has age and miles unknown or anything like that first thing you want to do is buy one that's certified you want to buy a fancy bmw get a certified fancy bmw you want to buy a high technology car like a prius get a certified toyota prius you just sleep the sleep of angels knowing you didn't get screwed up getting the wrong merchandise but say you're just dying not to buy a certified one that's okay too there's just a few things that you need to know first thing you need to feel the curve on the hood right here and make sure there's no rough lines rough lines indicate that the hood's been painted if the hood's been painted it's probably been in an accident prior owner or some other random dealer might tell you oh we just airbrushed some rock chips no 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 matter where you buy one if you're not getting one certified take it right to the Toyota dealer and get a buyer's inspection. They're not gonna try and sell you a different car. They just wanna earn the $129 from getting the inspection. And they're gonna shoot straight with you because based on their information, they're putting themselves in a hole if the information that they're giving you is wrong. And so there's no incentive for them to tell you anything but the literal truth of exactly what's going on with the car. And the big thing you wanna know, number one is it been in an accident. And I know you've already read the car facts and all that, but it's just wrong all the time. And we're not talking about a theoretical car, we're talking about one you work your butt off for to put the money together to buy. Don't throw your money away on the wrong car. Just get the buyer's inspection and you don't have to worry about it anymore. But you want to make sure that the battery is good because the battery is the propulsion unit of this car and they don't get serviced the way a conventional engine gets serviced. So if they go bad and they have to be replaced, 
you're looking at about $5,000. So that can be really expensive. That alone can be a turnoff for a lot of buyers and say, you know what? I'm not interested in a Prius just because of that. Now the Prius has a particularly long wheelbase. It's 106.3 inches long, which is like a mid-sized car. I mean, it's great. Wheelbase is the distance between these screws here and the screws in the back wheel. So a mid-sized car typically is in that 110 region. So 106.3 for a compact car is really, really good. In fact, probably more than I need to be back there. So I'm super comfortable, turn this off, I'm super comfortable up here. Now this has that kind of new lux interior. So although it's man-made uh, leather, it's actually extremely durable. It's soft, it's nice. In many ways, I kind of like it more than leather. And not, I'm not the only one who feels that way. Kind of everybody does. They've gone away from putting leather at all. Even if you want to pay tons of money and get the most expensive one like this one is, you don't get it with leather. It's not even an option because everybody likes this interior. Now this one has heads up display. So this would be the absolute top of the line. I don't recommend unless you're just dying to have some the absolute most expensive one. I would scratch that off my must have list only because you're uh, obligated to get the most expensive version of the car. And when we're talking about pre-owned, I mean, do you really need the most expensive one or do you need the most reliable one that gives you the most bang for your buck? The packages that you're gonna find are typically two, three, persona, four, and five. Two is like your plain Jane model, but that's a really good model. That's the one you want, actually. That's the most bang for your buck. 15 grand buys you a real nice one, even a certified one at the dealer. 2011, 2012 with a couple of miles. 2000 uh, uh, for, for $16,000, you get a certified one with 30, 40,000 miles. If you get a uh, uh, you know 20,000 mile one, it's about $17,000. So a lot of car for the money and amazing resale value. Package three is gonna be that same package, but it's gonna have navigation. So if you have to have navigation, you need to focus on a package three. Persona is kind of a cross between, it's a package three with like special wheels and stuff like that. The uh, package five, that's everything, wheels, navigation, the whole nine yards. And so if you really must have the most expensive one, then get a package five. Or uh, in this case, a plug-in that's called an advanced uh, edition all of the plugins are gonna have navigation. So they all kind of start at the package three level. So I'm feeling good. I got tons of room in the front space. The, uh, I'm gonna jump in the back and see how the room is back there. And it's fantastic. And so it's got a long wheelbase, which means it has lots of room in the back seat as well as in the front seat. So if I'm using this as a commuter and I have four full-size adults, I mean, this is obviously a great commuter. It's such a great commuter that half the taxi fleets in the United States, it seems, uh, use at least some Priuses in their lineup, if not exclusively. And then, of course, everybody who uh, wants to join Uber wants to join Uber with a Prius. Now, do uh, bear in mind, if you, do, uh, uh, you are contemplating getting a Prius for Uber, one thing that will screw you up is financing because uh, banks don't like to uh, speculate on what might or might not be a successful endeavor for you in the future. Do yourself the biggest favor in the world and get pre-approved for a loan. I never suggest that for anybody because today's rates at the dealerships, you just go to a credit union or something like that, they're so low, you don't have to overthink it. But for Uber drivers, because so many banks will just flat out turn you down, getting pre-approved will save you a lot of headaches and probably save you a lot of money too. Let's take a look at the trunk. With over 115 cubic feet of interior space, it's actually huge interior. Great big cavernous area in the back, 60-40 uh, folding rear seat. So two people in the back, fold down the left-hand side, and, the, uh, and you just have all that extra great space, especially if you have pets or something like that. Or just fold down the whole thing, and honestly, it's like a station wagon. In fact, it's like a big station wagon. It has so much room inside. So again, it's a very... Uh, uh, it does a lot of things extremely well, very versatile type of car. And so it seems like it's going to be just rudimentary transportation and gets really high gas mileage. It's not like that. It's very impressive. It's very solidly built. It drives extremely well. And again, it's super duper spacious inside. It has great lines. For the 2016 model, they're going to come out with a, a, a new body style, but it's going to look in many ways like this body style. And so it's not like by buying a pre-owned one, suddenly it's going to look like it's a thousand years old when the new one comes out. This is a great body style. Let's turn it on. Let's see how it sounds.
Now, over 5 million Priuses have already been sold, and the uh, Toyota has sold 8 million, actually almost 9 million now, total uh, uh, hybrid vehicles, whether it's through their Lexus and Sport Utilities and CTs and that sort of thing, or through Toyota and all the hybrids that they have. But over 60% of all the hybrids that Toyota sells are this car right here, the Prius. It's really, really well built. I mean, even like the fit and finish of the plastics of the interior are awesome. I mean, they're so much better than everything else. There's no point even in comparing anything else to it. It's, it's as if Toyota had built this car to intentionally lose money. It's almost overbuilt. It's that nice. And so again, that's why it's so popular with people who want to use it as a career path, be as a taxi or Uber service or something like that. They just last forever. They don't rattle. They don't do anything. And so if you get a nice one, one that you know for sure uh, at least qualifies for certification, if it, uh, it is an outright certified as well, I mean, it can be a car you can keep for 15 years. I mean, it's really, really that nice. Now, if the battery does go bad, though, that is something that you need to be mindful of. They are spendy to replace. So please, 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 if you're considering buying one, get a buyer's inspection and make sure you're getting the right one. Take it to a Toyota dealer, not to an independent mechanic. Nobody has the stuff you need for a hybrid but the Toyota dealer. They just have a whole suite of tools that are unique to the hybrid that just nobody else has, and they can do the test that, again, we're not talking about hypotheticals and most Priuses work out well. We're talking about your hard-earned money that you work your butt off for, and we want to make sure that you don't get the wrong car. Get that buyer's inspection. It's the smartest $129 you'll ever spend in your whole life. So the great interior, that's going to be a package four or above. The, uh, otherwise, it's going to be cloth interior. Nothing wrong with that. All the plastics in, uh, uh, that are used in the Prius, believe it or not, they're uh, plant-derived. The, uh, they're not uh, oil or petroleum-derived. And so, again, super, super, super green. So it's not just for people who say, you know what, I'm very eco-minded. Well, it's great for people who are very eco-minded. People who are very technology-minded, it's great for people who are very technology-minded. People who just want a trusty commuter that gets spectacular gas mileage, isn't going to break down on them a bunch, and will last a long time and have great resale value. That's like 90% of the buyers of this car, and that's that's where the smart money is. The if you've got a you know 14 to 20 thousand dollar price range, and you just want a super duper nice car that's going to last you a long time, this is the car right here, Prius. Just make sure you get the right one. And if you have any questions about this car or anything that we have here at Toyota of Seattle or Honda of Seattle please don't hesitate to reach out to me. My name is Joe Tunney. I'm the pre-owned director at Honda of Seattle and Toyota of Seattle. And you can reach out to me anytime at joet at hondaofseattle.com.